okay? And a half gallon of methanol. And when mixed, which I'm about to do, we'll have methoxide. So my lye goes into my methanol. Just gonna block, remove any clogs with this stick. swish the lye into the methanol and the reason I'm not just putting the cover on and shaking it is it's expanding and um, it'll expand inside here and bust the cap off. So I could put the cap on for like a minute and shake but swishing is safer and you can hear the lye inside. And I'm just going to swish until it's mixed and I don't feel the lye scraping the edges of the container. Okay, so we're pretty well mixed. In case you haven't guessed, wear your dirtiest clothes. All of your materials make the biofuel are toxic, so we don't get them on the skin. And here's three gallons of waste veggie oil. I'm going to dump this right in. You'll see a change immediately. And this is filtered waste veggie oil. for about four days and uh, before I do I'm gonna just release any pressure cap off cap on okay we'll come back in 40 okay it's been three days since we mixed methanol and lye and made meth oxide and um, added it to waste veggie oil filtered waste veggie oil and now I'm just gonna pour it off um, what happened, you can see, is it's quite light and then at the bottom there's some darkness. I don't know if you can see that. The darkness is glycerin and that's the byproduct. So the chemical process took all the heaviness, gelatinousness out of the liquid and left this glycerin, which we're thinking about making logs out of. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to pour off. By now, I'm sure you're wondering when the hard part is coming up, and um, there is no hard part. Maybe it's just hard picking this up and putting it in the car, huh? <laughs> so this is my biofuel, nice and clean. And our last step is to put it in my new Vida Beetle diesel. Ugh. So this is $10 of fuel. cost me about two dollars and some time. <laughs> 